Traffic is down, we all know that, in and around Indianapolis because of the stay-at-home order. But state police are telling us they've seen more car thefts over the past few months. Yeah, criminals are targeting abandoned vehicles on the highway. And as Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us, they're looking for very specific car parts. Alone, vulnerable, and left to the distance. We aren't talking about Indy's new Tuesday night, Instead, cars left along the city's highways. These people are off looking for a, a crime of opportunity. And that abandoned vehicle um, in an area where cars are speeding by at high speeds. The perfect spot for a thief to snag a catalytic converter and drive off. They have the tools that they need ready to go. They'll jack the car up, they'll crawl underneath of it. A couple of cuts that don't take very long. And away they go. State troopers are seeing a rise in these crimes over the past few months. So far, they've arrested two people. So if someone is hit by this, how much does it cost? Some of the people that I spoke to today have paid upwards of three or four thousand dollars for the repair. Sergeant John Perine says crooks look to sell the precious metals inside the converter. That's not a lot of money compared to, to the cost of a new catalytic converter, uh, but as far as scrap metal goes, it's quite popular. Well, the problem itself isn't new for troopers. They can't rule out coronavirus hardship for the growing trend. Maybe it's just a coincidence. We're not sure. However, they are certain about needing the public's help. They've already had two people call after witnessing the act. What we're looking for is somebody to see that person carrying that saw up to a car. That call could spare someone thousands in damages. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Now, if your car breaks down along an Indy highway, you are given 24 hours to move it before state patrol can even have it impounded. So that's good to know. Inside of the 465 corridor, that limit becomes two hours. An 11 year old is helping Hoosiers find hope tonight. How she's giving back for her birthday. Special young lady there. What's on tap? Well, we've got an update on the new brew serving a special purpose right here in central Indiana. Don't go away. Together, we can do this. Our